All right, I know now somebody's probably got a question they want to ask Stephanie. Excuse me, Jennifer. None? This is the weirdest class. All right, I have a question. Yeah. Would you like to explain the weird, what the word weird means? Well, yeah, I mean, I was completely aware and I knew everything that was going on. I knew what you were doing and I knew it was coming. I was having to fight myself a little bit. <laughs> but I knew it was coming, but it, that was weird. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you but feel? But I was able to <laughs> handle that. Yeah. It didn't hurt like, didn't I think, it. I felt it. Uh -huh. I mean, no I could pain. feel it, but yeah. no, it didn't hurt. Yeah. But I knew what it was, but yeah. I guess it was just my perception of what was happening. Was yeah, but, but look, at, she knew what it was supposed to feel like. But she chose to do what? Accept the suggestion that. Now, I use some things. We'll talk about these again later, but just in, 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 in passing, is the fact that we talked about four things that we know that she has some kind of re, re, uh, reference point to. Hand falling asleep. She knows what that feels like. Down in the cold bucket, getting that last brisky out. She knows what that feels like. Coming home from the dentist, chewing along the tongue. Know what that feels like. Or maybe she's had some local in the past, so she knows what that would have felt like. So now what we've done is we give her a refer reference point, and she chose not to leave that reference point. That is the, the That's what made this work for her. She chose to stay there rather than saying. But wait a minute, that's probably going to hurt. I know what he's going to do, and it's going to hurt. Well, I had to fight myself. But you did it. There was anxiety there. I was feeling yeah. a little <laughs> but yeah. I had to. But you. I had to fight myself to. And, ex it. and it exactly how you're going to handle this birthing process for you. Because now you know, hey, yeah, I can do this. About that whole thing. Yeah, you're going to do great. You're going to do great. <laughs> Talking to you. you. Tell your baby. Say, hey, Charlie, what you going to name this baby? Layla. Layla? Mm -hmm. Layla, when time comes, you just come out nice and gentle and easy, okay? <laughs> and come out head first. We're going to dive out, not come out feet first, trying to walk. So, they have used hypnosis, by the way, for transition for babies that are uh, breech by relaxing the uterus and letting it turn. <coughs> so, again, no questions for, Lay for Layla or for <laughs> Steph uh, Jenny. Jennifer? Yeah, Dave. No, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Probably right now. See, now, but we got to talk about something because there's something I didn't do. How does your right hand feel? Well, it, it, well, it pretty much feels the same as the left. Okay, but go ahead and close your eyes for a moment. Take a deep breath. And now let your right hand feel totally normal but comfortable. So imagine what totally normal is, but comfortable when you're ready, you can open your eyes back up. Because I never said your hand feels normal again, did I? So now she goes over to pick up a Coke and she drops it. You know, that's the kind of thing she has to be concerned about. So she did very, very well. Does that surprise anybody? Does that give you a little bit of belief what hypnosis can do? Now, I want to tell you something I did. This has to do with your job. When I went over and I started off by saying what? Think about your left hand. If I'd have kept just saying think about your left hand and nothing but your left hand, guess what might have happened? She wouldn't have felt anything in her right hand either. One day I was walking through the holding area and they had this lady set up and they were trying to start IVs on her and they already had about four gel coats sticking out. And I walked up to her and I says, hey, look at me. Take a big old deep breath. Now relax. What I want you to do is I want you to think about your right hand. Now they're working on the left side. I'll think about your right hand. As I count backwards from 10, I want you to think about your right hand. Is it warm? Is it cold? Is that sheet rough or smooth? 10, think about your right hand. 9, only your right hand. 8, what does that sheet feel like? 7, your right hand, is it warm? Is it cold? 6, 5, think about your right hand. Think about your right hand. 4, 3, your right hand, your right hand. 2, one, your right hand, and they said, got it. That hand went numb. She got a parasympathetic or sympathetic response. Everything opened up on the skin, and guess what? I walk away, and she says, or I, I, I get done, and she says, ain't you got a job? What is it with these people and me? Can't they just <laughs> accept the fact that I, I know what I'm doing? But 
I used to walk around the hospital and do stuff like that all the time. I'd go into pediatrics. I'd go into the emergency room. They'd have a problem. I'd just go start talking like that. I'd go into the immunizations when they got kids screaming all over the place. And I'd go in because <laughs> I remember I ran an immunization clinic for two and a half years for the Army. We saw about 150 every Wednesday for immunization. And I learned how to talk to them and to do this because I was the one who had to give the shots. So we just distracted them, took care of them. Thank you so very much. Now, now, for being my guest and doing this for me, you can choose any of the single CDs over there you want to take off the shelf. I would take Bonding with Baby if it was me, but not that I would make that suggestion to you. All right, thank you. Thank you.